Germany's economy is falling apart. Economic growth has stumbled through another quarter. What was once an image of European prosperity is withering away. As Europe's financial engine, Germany's stumbling economy could have dire consequences for everyone. The question begs to be asked, will Germany once again become Europe's sick man? Or will the economy regain its health? If you're wondering about what hangs in the balance for Deutschland's financial future, keep watching. The Beginning of Germany's Financial Troubles While Germany's economic problems might seem to have sprung out of nowhere, this is not the case. Germany's current problems can be traced way back into history. To fully understand the scope of these economic problems, it is important that we turn back time. Germany's history is full of important events, but none is more significant than the Second World War, or rather, what came after it. After the ravages and horrors of the Second World War, Europe was in tatters. Nowhere was this destruction more pronounced than it was in Germany. In a bid to rebuild Western Europe, the U.S. introduced the Marshall Plan. With its implementation, West Germany began to heal its economy. With each passing day, West Germany began to prosper. Many people were in awe of the economic miracle that had taken place. Unfortunately, the same could not be said for East Germany. Struggling under a socialist economy, East Germany was extremely unfavored by the Americans. It did not receive any financial support and limped through its existence. With the Berlin Wall between the two parts of Germany, the differences were not all that evident. It wasn't until the Berlin Wall fell in 1989 and Germany reunited in 1990 that everything changed. Both sides could now see and compare the economic differences between them. Although reunified, Germany's problems were still far from gone. For one, economic disparity continued to haunt the nation. With Germany's reunification, the economic landscape of the country was greatly altered. Even with these transformations, the initial seed of economic disparity could be felt. The difference in wealth between East and West Germany would create tensions for decades. Even now, that initial inequality often manifests itself in conversations about the German economy. By the time Germany entered the early 2000s, it saw remarkable economic growth. As the world marveled at the invention of the mobile phone, Germany saw success in other ways. Riding an unstoppable wave of success, Germany's economy soared to new heights. Having overcome the challenges of reunification, Germany now saw a huge boost in its GDP. Rising from the ashes of the past, Germany became a global leader in several industries. At the forefront of these was the automobile and machinery industry. The German economy soon became a pure beacon of efficiency. In the span of a few years, Germany had outperformed powerful countries like the US, Japan, and France. It was during this time that the government introduced new reforms. These reforms were created with the intention of increasing Germany's success. They were, in other words, to bring about a new golden age. Unlike most golden ages, Germany's golden age was not mythical. Rather, it saw the ascension of German industries to great heights. Brands such as Mercedes, Volkswagen, and BMW became household names at this point. As the GDP continued to spike, Germans began to feel a sense of pride in their country. In those days, made in Germany became synonymous with quality. Germany had stepped into a period of prosperity. Today, however, this golden era seems to be fading. Germany is grappling with challenges. The question on everyone's mind is pretty simple. Why is this happening? How could Germany's economy, known for its success, stumble in such a manner? When it comes to finding the answers to these pressing questions, we find ourselves at a loss. We could point our fingers at several things. Most analysts tend to look at recent events. One such event is the conflict in Ukraine. As with all European countries, the crisis did not cause the problems in the first place. Ukraine's crisis did exacerbate the challenges faced by Germany. These economic problems were always present. Before Ukraine and the pandemic, they just took on a different form. Germany's energy crisis. To understand why Germany's economy is behaving the way that it is right now, we need to look back. 
In the past, Germany relied heavily on cheap energy imports from Russia. This connection relies upon further German Chancellor Gerhard Schrader. Gerhard Schrader had strong Russian connections. Deals made during his time linked Germany's energy fate with Russia. These deals worked great until last year, when the crisis with Ukraine broke out. Another layer to this story is Germany's decision to move away from nuclear energy. But how exactly does nuclear energy tie in with the Russian-Ukraine war? And how does that relate to Germany's economy? Let's start with the first question. Germany has always relied quite heavily on Russian energy. The relationship between the two countries is a long and historical one. But to sum it up in a few words, Germany needs Russian gas. The Nord Stream pipeline projects have been crucial in fulfilling this demand. German investments in Russia's energy sector have further deepened this relationship. As beneficial as this relationship was, it wasn't without its problems. With the geopolitical tensions on the rise, Germany can no longer depend on Russia for its energy. International sanctions have been imposed on Russia, which aggravates Germany's energy supply chain. To make matters worse, Germany made the decision to reduce its use of nuclear energy. This decision reflects Germany's deep-rooted fears. Germany's anti-nuclear stance is shaped by the atrocities of the Second World War. Furthermore, nuclear disasters such as Chernobyl continue to haunt the general public. As Germany invests in renewable energy, the nation finds itself in the midst of an energy crisis. Germany needs to enhance its energy security and aim for geopolitical stability. Now, more than ever, Germany needs strategies to diversify its energy sources. While implementing the Energy Efficiency Strategy 2050, Germany needs to be more realistic. The aim of this strategy is to reduce its primary energy use by 2030, but this process is not going to be cheap. Energy costs are at an all-time high. There's a pressing concern that German companies might move to other countries, and this could lead to an unemployment crisis in the future. As these energy challenges grow intense, Germany stands on fickle ground. The continuous struggle the country faces in the energy sector impacts the economy. Germany's economic landscape has always relied on Russian energy, but for now, everything hangs in the balance. Germany's population problem. Germany is facing a significant challenge related to the number of hours people work. Since 1991, the amount of time people work has been decreasing. Experts predict that this trend will continue next year. This decline in working hours is causing a serious problem for the economy. A majority of Germany's population is old. In fact, Germany has the largest aging population in Europe. Today, an increasing number of retired people depend upon the pension system. As fewer people work, the strain upon Germany's pension system increases. In an attempt to solve this problem, some experts suggest raising the retirement age. This could prove to be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, an aging population will have to work for longer. The elderly will have to compromise on their ability to relax for a while. Alternatively, as more people work for a longer time before retiring, the pressure on the pension system can be equalized. Unfortunately, tackling the population problem hasn't been the government's priority so far. As far as reforms go, there's been absolute silence from the government. Typically, this silence points to an unaddressed issue, which is the worst way of dealing with a problem. As such, Germany's fumbling labor force can't contribute to the economy at all. Germany's key industries, such as automotive and finance, depend on a large workforce. The void at the heart of the workforce needs to be resolved. Unless reforms address the issues at play, Germany will be stuck in an economic slump for a long time to come. Germany's exports are falling. This is not the first time Germany's economy has been caught in a slump. Unlike in the past, the problems encountered by the German economy this time are new. For one, there are several short-term failures that had an adverse effect on the economy. As was previously expected, the recent reopening of China's economy after COVID-19 did not have the expected results. There was no economic bounce back. Instead, manufacturers suffered throughout the world. Additionally, higher interest rates and energy prices also altered the German economy. Germany, known for its exports, particularly in sectors like cars, machinery, tools, and chemicals, is struggling. No economy can exist within a vacuum, and for Germany, this situation is made even worse. 
Unlike other countries such as France, Germany's exports are failing. The reason behind this is quite straightforward. Unlike France, Germany's exports are unwanted in the post-pandemic world. France primarily exports service-based products which are in high demand. Germany's export machine is failing. For the first time in decades, Germany reported a trade deficit in May 2022. Why should Europe care? The concerns about Germany's economic problems extend far beyond its borders. Germany holds a central position within the European Union. In many ways, Germany is the backbone of the EU. If Germany's economy faces a downturn, it could trigger a chain reaction. If Germany's economy fumbles, it would result in fewer trade opportunities for other European nations. Additionally, a decrease in Germany's economic activities would affect the business of neighboring nations. This decrease in trade can lead to financial losses for businesses. It could even spiral into a massive unemployment crisis. Investments will slow down, not only in Germany, but throughout the EU. Investors will become more cautious. Customers will spend less, and businesses will postpone their expansions. This would inevitably lead to a recession throughout Europe. Is there any hope for Germany? The future of the German economic scene remains uncertain. This uncertainty should indeed scare Europe. A week in Germany could destroy economic stability all across the continent. But despite this, there's still hope. For one, there are significant differences between Germany's current condition and its past. Germany's economy is always in a state of flux, and there's no telling which way the pendulum will swing. All we can do is make educated guesses. What do you think the future of Germany's economy will look like? Share your insights in the comments below. And as always, we'll be reporting how this situation plays out. Thanks for watching, and make sure to keep an eye out for our next video.